Hi, so here we are, and we the great moment has arrived where we're going to open the kiln. Um, I can stick my where there was fire coming out, I can put my hand in the still. Just above boiling point, 135. But if we don't open the door now, it can stay at 100 degrees for another day. And we haven't got another day, so we'll open it. It's safe to open now. So here we go. This is what we worked for for the last four weeks. And this is the first view, the first view of the pots. But generally it's looking good. A little, not as melted as, as the last five inch, but yeah. that's alright. We don't have runs, we don't have stick-ons either. So good, this is okay. Good finch going in here. Very nice finch, very nice temoku, is very wow, good. Wow, check the finch. That is amazing. Look, check the titanium. Mm. Lovely. Okay, now we need to just leave it here for a bit. We're listening for noise. If we hear any tinkle, tinkle. The too much tinkle, tinkle, we close down a bit. And these are still these are about 80 now. That's all I'm worried about. There's a very nice cellar in there. Good. Weird, and we've got some kind of purpley reds, so nice. This is exciting time. Okay. Nice little joke for somebody. See what happens in the kiln? It's it's like a metamorphosis. It's it's it goes it transforms completely. It's hardly recognizable. And when we close the door with all the pots in it, it's like you've got to give them all away. But the harder we work, the luckier we get. There's a nice piece. Yeah, well. When a kiln load comes out, there will be those four or five special pieces that have just done everything that you've wanted them to do. And where they have the elements of rhythm, the elements of line, form, and they start beginning to talk in another language. Pottery can still be used for what it was originally intended. You can still serve a salad on them. But standing on their own, on display, they, they form a new work of art. Art is informed by craft, and craft is informed by art. Each has a component of the other, so they're sometimes indistinguishable from each other. You can have good craft, and you can have good art, they're not excluded from each other. I can have a piece of artwork, a painting, which is perfectly good craft, but it's not art. I like to quote Anthony Hopkins uh, when I get to this stage in this question. I focus on the craft, as he did on his acting, and when I'm not looking, it slips into art. The potter's job, just like they say the woodworker, woodworker's got to open up the tree and show people the beauty of the tree. And the potter's hidden work is to open up a window into the mineral world, the workings of the mineral world, and display its beauty. Because we very seldom see the beauty of the mineral world unless you buy semi-precious stones or you collect crystals or, or stuff like that. It's not obvious, it's not available in every shop. The ash glazes are a natural part of this process. The kiln produces ash. If you mix ash and clay in equal proportions and take that to high enough temperatures, you get evidence of the mineral world. All the trace minerals of the tree are left in the ash. And 
these expose themselves um, during that little dots of blue, little dots of green. You see the trace minerals and the life of the tree shining out of the glaze.